Hey guys, Mr. MJ Fan 101 Alt here, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Back to Karkin DLC. And trust me, it definitely is a good one. Here's why. First of all, some of the things you get in Back to Karkin are uh, four maps. All of these maps were in Battlefield 2, and the maps are Strike at Karkin, Sharky Peninsula, Gulf of Oman, and Wake Island. On top of these four maps, you get ten assignments, um, and assignments are basically these challenges like uh, play two hours of Sharky Peninsula or get two kills with the buggy and uh, when you complete the assignments uh, it'll give you different weapons and there are also uh, four, new, four new vehicles uh, which are the F-35B fighter jet, uh, the BTR-90, uh, the DPV which is a buggy and the skid loader and uh, lastly a new game mode which is Conquest Assault and here are my opinion on some of the maps. I'll start by talking about Gulf of Oman. Well, Gulf of Oman was definitely my f least favorite map at first, but after a little bit of playtime, it has become one of my favorite maps. I love how it is an open map, but all the flags are in sort of urban enclosed areas. Not really enclosed, but um, urban areas with lots of buildings. That's usually where the flags are in this map. Uh... It gives the gameplay some variety, and I definitely love that. Uh, now Sharky Peninsula. Sharky Peninsula is mostly urban, but it has many long lines of sight. Uh, Sharky started off as one of my favorite maps in the expansion, and it still has because it uh, is mostly urban with long lines of sight and some choke points that always have action, like the huge TV station, and overall I love Sharky. Now Wake Island. I've heard some people say that Wake Island isn't that good in Battlefield 3, but I think it's awesome. Uh, it is just like every other rendition of Wake Island, except for one thing. I hate the way it looks. I know this doesn't have any effect on gameplay, but I just have to say this. I hate the way it looks. The blue filter makes Wake Island look stormy and gloomy, and I hate it because... Well, I guess it goes with the odd theme that BF3 has, but it still just... It does not look good. I wish things were more green, but... It kind of goes with what's going on the map, how there's some construction going on or something like that. But at the same time, it just doesn't look good, but whatever. Uh, however, the gameplay is awesome on Wake Island as usual. Um, it's uh, wide open areas with few buildings and good pilots should be able to do well here. And uh, lastly, Strike at Karkand. I don't know why everybody loves this map, but I don't like it that much. Don't get me wrong, I did play Battlefield 2 a little bit. And I loved Strike a Karkin there. I could not stop playing it. But it doesn't work for me in BF3. It just doesn't... It doesn't play the same way. I I can't exactly figure out what it is, but I just don't like it as much in BF3. I mean, it isn't bad, but at the same time, it isn't a great map. Well, at least not in BF3. Now, back to Karkand is wide open streets with tons of buildings, and that creates some good gameplay, but I think if the if the destruction was utilized a bit more um, in BF3 and in Strike and Karkand, uh, it would be awesome, but unfortunately there isn't much de destruction in BF3 or this map, so... Uh, because if there was, I would definitely play the crap out of Karkand. So, there's my uh, opinion on the maps. Now, the vehicles are sweet. I love the BTR and the buggy, which is... The buggy is so much fun to drive, the BTR is so much fun to use. However, I've never really used the F-35 that much, but from what I've heard, the other jets are better than it, so... I don't really know what to say there. Uh, also, the skid loader is just for fun, and if you feel like screwing around or trolling, then yes, the skid loader is definitely a lot of fun, so I do like the vehicles. Also, the weapons are awesome, but definitely not some of my favorites. I do like some of these weapons a lot, like the L85. The L85 is sweet, um, but I overall like the weapons in the Close Quarters expansion more. But that is for my next review, but here, I liked some of the weapons a lot. Like I said, the L85, the Famous was really good too. Uh, but overall, it's sort of half and half. I like half the weapons and then the other half are just... Nah, so that's my opinion on the weapons. Overall, I give the Back to Karkin DLC a 9. It has some great maps, mostly great guns and fun new vehicles and a lot of incentive to keep playing uh, the this expansion pack. But one thing I forgot to mention, Conquest Assault. I could definitely do without that game mode. But overall, like I said, this DLC gets a 9.